Hey guys, welcome back to uh, part two. Right now, um, to give a little clarification. We are at Iron Wrath. I'm sorry, I missed like the little beginning there because I didn't record. But we're at Iron Wrath of Forester. We're at the House Forester. Tell him his nephew survived. Carrot. I was too late. Dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Okay. So yeah, so we're at Iron Wrath, like the house of the forester of House Forester owns. And that is his uncle. And his father's Two dad. White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. <laughs> your justice was swift. It's good to hear. <laughs> Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any differently in you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. You can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound oh, yeah. All right, who, put, who puts maggots for infection? That's disgusting. I think that you can do that, but that's, that's just nasty. Oh, oh. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Don't you love putting maggots inside of your leg? Oh. Yeah, that's, uh. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Dude, people back then had a really good, like, stomach. Putting maggots in their legs, though. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, the squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing I could do. Mm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from this house. I all know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. <laughs> no effort. <laughs> just, just, just like Don't I... Worry. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Thanks, Mason. Look at the chair, why not? Oh, well, that's interesting. Look at that window. Mm, There's such a beautiful window. I love windows like this. The Iron Wolf Grove. Mm, the Grove. <laughs> we talk like that the whole time. Mm, the Grove, bro, yeah. Yeah, bro. The Grove. Where am I going now? Oh, there's a sword. Oh, that's my sword. <laughs> Floating sword, I want to catch it. I want it, I want it. Can I look at this window? No. Oh, I can look at that. Guys, this is the greatest game ever. I get to look at paintings, windows, and a chair. I love it. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Mirror sounds so familiar. Where's my thing? Oh, yeah, I forgot. 
Tyler and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. It is. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. That's uh, uh Roderick. Roderick. He's our best warrior by far. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. So he got exiled. Lady. Forrester. Yep. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Maybe we are. Bum bum bum. <laughs> hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tingrid. Look, I'll show you. I'm gonna look at you. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Is that all you wanted? Look at me. See me walk. What the heck. I'm gonna look at some medical supplies. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, they're magnets, oh, they're aren't they? Cute little creatures, aren't they? No, they're not. They're disgusting. Gross. The gross. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna look at it now. Oh. Healing herbs. Just just herbs. It's just like a bunch it's just a um this mile. <laughs> just a bunch of pot. Sir. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> no, you see that? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really? I'm fine. Really? Really, I'm asked to hug. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Lord of House Forrester. There we Mike go. Ethan, of course. Okay. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. There's still so much. It's <laughs> challenging. The very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Nah. We trust him. How old? Oh, sorry about that. How old is he, you think? How old is he, do you think? My grammar do good. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester, Lord Ethan. At the twins, I, I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his duty. His what? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? She's like ten. What the fuck? Your family... Oh, okay, it's about that. <laughs> Let's say it's Game of Thrones. I'm so sorry. Me too. I'll like... to bed now. Hurry on. <clears throat> Like I don't f yeah, like. Was just telling me how valiantly mm. Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can afford. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. 
But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? Hey, said he loved you. May have lied to her, but you know what? That's very kind of you to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. <laughs> With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of Thank you. Can't keep it. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royla. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the Lord of the You know nothing, Ethan. And he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this what? will accuse you of murder and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what this he did. This is a good one. Yeah. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. But I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. The boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. The wall. Betcha's the wall. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I'm excited to fight for the wall. <laughs> I don't know why. I actually love the wall. Uh, the story there and everything like that is amazing. If you guys watch Game of Thrones, I love everything Word they do with it. Me, I gladly drive a sword through Lord White Hill's heart and give him a chance. I would. God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. 
Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. But the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. He's probably gonna die now. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wild men and fools. And it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well, That's Lord, true. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. I am from ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. What is this? Oh, a necklace. Oh, I love necklaces. I'm such a pretty girl. Be safe. Hey guys, Terraria uploaded. Alright guys, so uh, that's going to end it for this episode. This has been part 2. I'll see you guys for part 3, alright? Alright guys, take care. Peace.